Okay, here's my next engine. About 30 inches tall. 3 inch bore, 3 inch stroke. Running an alternator. Nothing left to do there. Mainly use the charge up battery bank for off grid. Twelve inch pulley there, and it's running about 250 RPM right now, and the alternator is running at about 900 RPM. Comes with the alt, uh, oiler, Swift oiler, really nice one, very expensive. They work good. It's just the engine, not the boiler. It's one of my 20 inch boilers. It's also for sale on eBay. So I've built four of these engines now. These are just a forward moving engine, no reverse on them. They don't need it. Real nice running engine. Best one I've ever done. It will run faster. It's just that on my table it starts bouncing a little bit. You gotta be careful it doesn't knock up the battery off. That's about the right speed for it. Brand new engine. Tricox the there. I'm gonna open those up when you first start it up to get the water out of the engine. I made all the patterns for this engine, and then I have them cast to the foundry. And then I get them and I machine all the parts myself. The only thing that's not, uh, that I didn't make is this Petcox and the oiler. That's all antique stuff. There are grease points on there, and down here, and on the crank down there. And also there's oil points on the eccentric on the other side. Real nice unit. The smoothest running engine I've ever built. Like I see these valves. They only need about a quarter of a turn open to uh, let enough oil into the engine. That's about it. I'll have it on eBay for sale.